Hey, how you doing? I'm Robert Renman with Master Guitar Academy. Today I have a quick little tip for you. And this is about using scale patterns to your advantage. Now scale patterns may sound boring, but they aren't, especially if you mix them up. Check this out. I'm using the E minor pentatonic, box one that we all know. But now, by using a scale pattern, a very simple pattern, it's going to sound like this. First, I'm going to groove a little bit. Yeah, pretty cool. So what did I do there? Well, I was just wanking around on the with my wall pedal, basically just kind of grooving around on an E7 type of chord. And then I played the minor pentatonic backwards, so to speak, this way. And right there is where I decided to stop the pattern so I could fit it into the groove, timing-wise. So let's take a closer look one more time. You'll notice that I'm playing this with hammer-ons because it's really difficult, at least for me, to play this quickly using alternate picking or speed picking. So I employ this technique. You see as hammer-ons that makes this possible. Now let's see what it sounds like when I get my wall pedal foot going. All right, let's do it together. We'll do some waka waka stuff in the beginning. Wow, who knew that a scale pattern could be so useful? I hope you liked this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, add a comment, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time.